Welcome to our video on mathematics and law, the role of statistics in the courtroom. In this video, we will explore how mathematics and statistics play a crucial role in the legal system, particularly in the courtroom. We will look at how statistical evidence is used to support or refute legal arguments and how it can influence the outcome of a case. Imagine you are a juror in a criminal trial. The prosecution has presented evidence that the defendant's DNA was found at the crime scene. The defense argues that the DNA evidence is unreliable and should not be considered. How do you decide who to believe? This is where statistics comes in. Statisticians can analyze the DNA evidence and determine the probability that it belongs to the defendant. This information can be presented to the jury, who can then use it to make an informed decision. But statistics is not just used in criminal trials. It is also used in civil cases, such as personal injury lawsuits, where the plaintiff must prove that the defendant's actions caused their injuries. In these cases, statisticians can analyze medical records and other evidence to determine the probability that the defendant's actions caused the plaintiff's injuries. In this video, we will explore how statistics is used in the legal system and how it can help lawyers and judges make more informed decisions. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the fascinating world of mathematics and law. In the legal system, there are two types of statistical evidence, descriptive and inferential. Descriptive statistics is used to summarize and describe data. For example, if a lawyer wants to know the average age of a group of people, they would use descriptive statistics to calculate the mean age. Inferential statistics, on the other hand, is used to make inferences about a population based on a sample of data. For example, if a lawyer wants to know the probability that a certain event will occur, they would use inferential statistics to make that prediction. Statistical evidence can be presented in various forms, such as charts, graphs, and tables. It can also be presented through expert testimony, where a statistician is called to testify about their analysis of the data. However, it is important to note that statistical evidence is not always admissible in court. The evidence must be relevant, reliable, and have a valid scientific basis. In the next segment, we will explore some examples of how statistical evidence has been used in real-life court cases. Statistical evidence has been used in many high-profile court cases to support or refute legal arguments. Let's take a look at some examples. In the case of Dobbert v. Merrill Dow Pharmaceuticals, Inc., the Supreme Court ruled that expert testimony must be based on scientific knowledge and have a valid scientific basis. This ruling has had a significant impact on the use of statistical evidence in court cases. In the case of Grigsby, Duke Power Company, the Supreme Court used statistical evidence to determine that the company's employment practices had a disparate impact on African-American employees. In the case of United States v. Microsoft Corp, statistical evidence was used to show that Microsoft had a monopoly on the computer software market. In the case of Brand v. Board of Education, statistical evidence was used to show that segregated schools had a negative impact on African-American students. These are just a few examples of how statistical evidence has been used in court cases. As you can see, statistics can play a crucial role in the legal system, helping lawyers and judges make more informed decisions. In the next segment, we will explore some of the challenges and limitations of using statistical evidence in court cases. While statistical evidence can be a powerful tool in the legal system, there are also challenges and limitations to its use. One challenge is the interpretation of statistical evidence. Statistics can be complex and difficult to understand, especially for jurors who may not have a background in math or science. Another challenge is the reliability of the data. Statistical evidence is only as good as the data it is based on, and if the data is flawed or incomplete, the results may be inaccurate. Additionally, Statistical evidence can be manipulated or misinterpreted to support a particular argument. It is important for lawyers and judges to be aware of these potential biases and to critically evaluate the evidence presented. Finally, statistical evidence is not always conclusive. It can provide probabilities and estimates, but it cannot prove causation or certainty. Despite these challenges and limitations, statistical evidence remains a valuable tool in the legal system. It can provide important insights and help lawyers and judges make more informed decisions. In the final segment, we will explore some of the future applications of statistics in the legal system. As technology advances, the use of statistics in the legal system is likely to increase. Let's take a look at some of the future applications of statistics in the legal system. One area where statistics is already being used is in predictive analytics. Predictive analytics uses statistical models to predict future outcomes, such as the likelihood of a defendant offending. Another area where statistics is being used is in the analysis of social media data. Social media data can provide valuable insights into a person's behavior and can be used as evidence in court cases. Additionally, 
Statistics has been used to analyze large amounts of data, such as medical records and financial data, to identify patterns and trends that may be relevant to a legal case. As these technologies continue to develop, it is important for lawyers and judges to stay up to date on the latest statistical methods and tools. In conclusion, statistics plays a crucial role in the legal system, helping lawyers and judges make more informed decisions. While there are challenges and limitations to its use, the future applications of statistics in the legal system are promising. Thank you for watching this video on mathematics and law, the role of statistics in the courtroom. We hope you have gained a better understanding of how statistics is used in the legal system.